Hi everyone, it's Barbara Dertina here and I wanted to make a quick message because something really struck me big today. A couple of things happened. One, I um, was perusing some uh, YouTubes this morning for morning news and I came across something so special that stood out to me and I made several posts about it and I'm going to do a YouTube series on it because it is so wonderful about communication. And they featured um, a couple of authors on this morning show um, that have are the founders of Axios. And the book is called Smart Brevity, How to Communicate and Be Heard. We are in an overwhelm of information. I don't know about you, but I feel inundated with social media messages, all of the stuff in the last three years, especially. And before I think, um, I know my life was a lot more balanced. I was at the gym. I was out and about and doing so many things. Now I am in front of a screen. I am in front of my phone. I am getting push notifications like crazy. Everyone is communicating this way. And there's so many great things I want to listen to and podcast, but I get shut down after a while. I'm like, I cannot take any more in. And uh, I know our brain can conceive so much more than that. So I have promoted this book and the nuggets that I took away today. And it is especially relevant to the business that I'm in, one of the businesses that I am. Because in today's world, we need to have our finger in a number of different income and revenue streams. And um, one of my mentors, J.B. Owen, uh, publisher and a renowned global um, influencer, uh, talks about eight prongs, that you should really should have eight prongs. Um, I'm working up to that. <laughs> I could just keep so many balls in the air at one time, you know? And actually, I scaled back something I had launched because um, I needed to pivot Something was launched in my health business that it was like, seize the moment, help others. This is really important and timely and time sensitive. So on another note, um, I'm becoming more um, vocal about something else that I do. I have always been an educator at heart. Um, my background is early childhood education, and I was a classroom educator. I kept moving around with my former husband's career constantly, and it was very difficult. And um, I also became a realtor, and I did a number of things, but I am an educator at heart. And when um, things shut down and I needed to be virtual, um, some things were shared with me about teaching English as a second language overseas and I joined a company and had to learn how to teach online and be in front of a camera. I, I, I flubbed it up and had to retake my interview time about three times. I had to pretend this adult was like a five-year-old and I'm more of an authentic, genuine person. It's hard for me to be an actor. And so I applaud all the people in the acting industry because that doesn't come easy for me. So I had no idea at the time, I'm going off tangent here, that it would teach me skills of being online, of lighting, of being comfortable in front of the camera, and how you have to do things sometimes. But that company, um, by a decision in China, they did not want any more um, uh, outside teachers from other countries teaching their children. And overnight, that income stream went away. But I had a little bit of notice. And, you know, when you're teaching on a platform, you can't really connect to the other parents. You're teaching their children. You get another child every 25 minutes. And I taught thousands of children, which gave me a great background. But I really connected to a few families. And one family, um, uh, the young boy before the pandemic, their parents had had um, ties here to the States and actually have a home here in Texas. And they came to the States and I taught him privately um, on Zoom while he was here in the States. And then he went back to China. And that mother is an incredible administrator of top um, international schools um, in China and um, very progressive, very high end. Education is very 
high and these are very well-known schools and she actually recruits teachers to come and teach at their school. So I'm talking about word of mouth and how that helps us. You know, we're always referring movies and restaurants and such. And this morning I brought forth this book. Will I receive any revenue from that? No, I won't. Now, affiliate marketing has become a much bigger um, entity. And so by referring things, people are making a little bit of money and that's very acceptable. And it's interesting that in the network marketing space, people view you as trying to sell people things. When you're trying to send a message, everyone is buying things. It's just, we are the messenger and we're not having these false celebrities marketing and marketing dollars go to convince you we're really sharing and it's a word of mouth business model. So today that happened to me in my teaching because I was losing that revenue stream, but this incredible woman that has seen great results with me teaching her children and, and liked my, my methods. They weren't all paper and circle this and fill in the blank and you know all of this i really want to expand a child's mind i want to expand the language to be the language that they're using and so i'm unconventional and i've also taught gifted children and had a gifted child and have graduate hours in gifted education and that's i'm just that type of person and so one thing has led to another and one mother referred to another mother and this morning and so i've built this community of people that they're so happy how quickly their children are advancing and their children want to come to class and we have fun and i take their ideas their interests and i build on that because those are the words they want to know i mean you have to know the core words to be able to make sentences and and go from there but even the youngest child being able to use words that are important to them it might be dinosaur it might be rocket ship it might be altman it might be um you know harry potter and it might be dance and so they get to start where they are and so today i got a referral from another parent do you have any room? Can I refer this other mother and her child to you? They want their child to learn English. And I just thought as I was promoting this book today, because my people in my tribe need that information or would get nuggets from that information, yet um, I got this word of mouth recommendation in one of my income streams, and that's teaching young children uh, English that are mainly located right now in China. And you know, it's exciting. They, sometimes platforms don't go through with them. I also create a lot of story writing and that is really expanded. I just don't wanna do all that phonics, blah, blah, blah. It's hard online and they get that in their English classes on school. And so does that make English come alive? It doesn't for me, I didn't like learning how to diagram all those sentences and all that grammar it's needed but you can also learn it in a different way i have found in innovation and also i can go on to youtube so what's happening in the world right now we had a rocket ship artemis that was ready to go off i had a, especially a couple of boys that are really interested in space and it didn't go off, but we could talk about that and I could show them some clips from YouTube. And what happened this week with the Queen and the UK? This is global, this is history. A lot of their materials actually come from the UK and the platform I was on um, had a lot of stories from the UK. Oh my God, they were so boring. I don't wanna teach those stories. Oh, look at Chip, Chip went. I mean, they were sort of sad and, and hard and not interesting stories. So here we were with two incidents today. And I wanted to create that because in my other business, my health network marketing business that you hear me speak about more than anything else is a word of mouth business. And people have been reaching out to me because I've been spending, you know, speaking the words and it's very exciting. And I wanted to share that because Word of mouth marketing is the most valuable 
um, marketing that there is, in case you didn't know that. Anyway, thanks so much for listening to me. Have a wonderful day. And um, we're all on a journey to find revenue streams to not necessarily go back to the confinements of some of the jobs that we have worked in over our years and maybe in now. And having some freedom, I see the numbers and the statistics for the workforce. And people think that people just don't want to work. People want to work. People want to express their passion, but they want to have a life too. And sometimes their rights are taken away from them. So they're looking for a better way. Have a great day.